Hello stampers and thank you so much for joining me today. This is Laura Buechler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. Today I want to highlight some of the designer series papers that are on special right now through the end of September. You can buy any three of the papers from this list and get a fourth one absolutely free. Now this is especially awesome when you consider that one of the selected paper packs on this list, Pressed Petals, is a specialty designer series paper. Now even though this paper is priced a little higher than the others, you can still buy any three of these papers here and get this one, the more expensive one, for free. How amazing is that? You just need to make sure that you place your order soon because the sale ends on September 30th, right here. Now, if you're in Nanaimo, drop me a line ASAP to order as I'm going to be placing an order tomorrow, September 23rd. Here's the full list of the papers that are included in the sale. So I decided for this week's video that I would make a simple card to showcase all the sale papers that I happen to have on hand, which is not all of the papers, but you'll get to see quite a few of them. So I have six cards to show you today, but don't worry, five of them are already made, and so we're just going to make one together. This video is not going to be six times as long as usual. So the card that we're assembling today uses the Follow Your Art suite, including the Follow Your Art designer series paper, which is part of the buy three, get one free sale. And we're gonna use the It Starts With Art bundle as shown here, these fabulous crafting related stamps and terrific sentiments. And then the coordinating dies. So many different fun shapes here for cutting things out. And I'll show you just one of my favorites here is this. This stamp, which stamps three different pens, and then you can use this die to cut it out. And what happens when you run that die through your machine is it's going to cut out the individual pens. Isn't that cool? So much easier. So all you need to make this card is your card base of five and a half by eight and a half inches and then a rectangle of the same color cardstock. I'm using Coastal Cabana, which is one of the colors that coordinates with the Follow Your Art paper. And this rectangle is cut to four by five and a quarter. Then you need a square of your DSP, and this is cut to three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then a frame for that square. This is three and a half by three and a half. And then you're just gonna need some scrap white and colored cardstock for a sentiment. Now I used the stitched rectangles to cut these out, but you could use punches or you could just cut uh, whatever size you wanted on your trimmer. So first step is to use an embossing folder on your cardstock rectangle. I used the button button embossing folder, which is part of the follow your art suite. And it is absolutely stinking adorable with all these cute little buttons. So that's what I'm going to use. Great. Doesn't that look adorable? I love it. So now I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the front of the card. Great, now I'm going to attach my DSP square to my cardstock frame and add that to the front of the card. And finally, I'm going to stamp my sentiment on this little white rectangle, which will then get framed by this and added to the front of the card. You can 
can leave this card just as is. It's absolutely adorable. But I'd like to show you a little bit more of the Follow Your Art Suite. So I'm gonna decorate this a little bit more and show you some of the other goodies that you can use. First of all, this adorable little embellishment kit. This costs $15. It comes in this adorable little box and it has over 70 embellishments inside. Of course, mine doesn't have that many anymore because I've used a lot of them, but I'll walk you through what it does have. You get two spools of thread. This is the Calypso Coral. I've already used quite a bit of it, but there's still some left. It also comes with a Pacific Point spool of thread, which I've used almost every little bit of that. It comes with a whole bunch of little charms. There are these silver hearts here that say made with love. And then you have um, Coastal Cabana and Blushing Bride colored paper clips as well. And then you get these four sheets, four different colors of these stitched felt shapes. And just look at all the fun different shapes that they include there for you. And they look so adorable with the little stitched outlines. So these are absolutely great for decorating your card. And like I said, this is only $15 and you get over 70 embellishments plus this thread. And I'm also going to stamp some images and then cut them out with the dies. Okay, so here's all my cute little shapes that I cut out. And now I'm gonna figure out how I wanna put them on my card. Something like that, I think. And then I think I'm gonna put this one on the inside of the card. I'm also going to use my blends to add some color to this piece. Did you notice on these buttons that in addition to cutting out the shapes, uh, the dies also add all this embossed detail? I think it's absolutely adorable. So there's the finished card. Very simple and then you can decorate it however you like. Now I'm going to show you the other ones that I made. This one uses the Garden Lane Designer Series papers and I've used the subtle embossing folder and I've also used the well-written dies to decorate it. This is the Sailing Home paper and the Pinewood Planks embossing folder. And then as you can see, I've used the Sailing Home stamps and dies to decorate. And these three, I haven't decorated at all because it looks fine either way, doesn't it? It's such a beautiful and simple card design. You don't necessarily have to decorate 
but I'll walk you through the supplies that I used. This is the perennial essence paper, the scripty embossing folder. This is the Magnolia Lane paper and the tufted embossing folder. And this is the Bird Ballad designer series paper and the scripty embossing folder again. So there's the whole collection of beautiful cards that I created, all with the same basic design. So as I said, you can choose to add the embellishments or you can leave it plain. It looks good either way. And you can see how you could make a whole stack of these really quickly and have a great, um, a great stash built up to give to your friends and family. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing all the different designer series papers that are on sale right now. There are actually four more papers that are not uh, within my collection, so I couldn't show them to you today, but they are beautiful as well. If you do want to place an order, make sure you do so by September 30th to take advantage of that sale. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and please drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if there's something specific that you want to learn about, please let me know. Remember that you can purchase all the products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, and you'll also find more project tutorials, current promotional details and catalogs, the local workshop schedule, and the sign up for my monthly email newsletter. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to let you know that I have a Facebook page called Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, where you can join a weekly card sketch challenge and win a prize from me. Now, if you do place an order, please use the current hostess code, which you can find on my website, because everyone who uses that code will get a free gift from me. And if you'd like to earn your own hostess rewards, all you need to do is place an order of over $200 or contact me so we can start planning your own virtual or in-home party. Drop me a line for more details. Have a great day, everyone, and happy stamping. Bye.